these car repair work bays at M State and Moorhead will likely look very different in the future thanks to a new grant. Automotive tech professor Shannon Moan says you should give these new cars a chance. Just recline back and take a nap because they'll be nice and warm. I'll be fine. In fact, I might enjoy the peace and quiet for a little while. <laughs> Most people that own an electric vehicle had the opportunity to take a ride in it and in many cases people who were big naysayers ended up sold on the concept just on one test drive. With the electric car market growing exponentially in the Midwest, M State is preparing to stay one step ahead. The growth has been exponential and um, as people are driving these, we're going to need people to repair them. Students like sophomore Ribaz Naso are expecting them to take over the roads. We're going to get a lot of students here, we're going to get a lot of people here to, that want to learn about this stuff because like from 10 years from now on, I don't think I'm, we're going to see any gas cars on the road. Although the students and faculty say they're pumped for the opportunity, it'll be a difficult adjustment for everyone involved. Electric vehicles require different tooling and different training in order to repair them. They're quite different than the internal combustion engine vehicles that we're used to. Not only is Moan impressed with his experience of electric cars. Even though I have a warm garage, I don't have to worry about carbon monoxide. It doesn't oh, wow. stink in my garage. People at M State are hoping that this program can provide new students with a way to train on electric and hybrid vehicles. With photographer Matthew Stewart, Hunter Schwartz, Campus News.